If it's your responsibility to help keep aircraft flying, you'll be glad to have the Ringlock tube fitting system there to help. Ringlock is a unique system that operates on all types of tubing, regardless of material, wall thickness, or pressure ratings. Ringlock fittings are designed to operate at system pressures of up to 8,000 PSI and the unique active swage technology, along with the simple installation process, assures you of obtaining maximum system reliability with little or no downtime. Let's see how the Ringlock tube fitting system works. This videotape will show you the six easy steps to tube repair with the Ringlock system. It's all the training you'll ever need. When a tubing problem occurs, your plane is grounded and you have to get it back in the air as quickly as possible. The close quarters of an aircraft's hydraulic system don't make the job any easier. With the ring lock system, you can simply cut out the damaged tube, insert the ring lock fitting, swage it, and fly it in a matter of minutes. Everything you need to install the ring lock fitting comes in this convenient portable kit. It's just as well suited to the flight line as it is to the maintenance shop. It includes flexible hose to connect the swaging tool to a hydraulic pump. A selection of gauges for checking the fitting upon completion. A marking pen. the hand-activated pump, a gauge for marking the tube, and the swaging or assembly tool. With this kit, you can install the complete range of ring lock fittings from dash 3 or 3 16 inch tubing to dash 24 or 1 and a half inch tubing. You have tool heads, marking gauges, and inspection gauges for each size. Let's see how easy it is to use the ring lock repair kit. Ring lock fittings are available in permanent and separable styles with flared, flareless, or arc seal ends. All come in straight configurations, tees, and elbows in 45 and 90 degrees. For our job today, we need a straight permanent to permanent fitting. As a reminder, whenever performing any maintenance on aircraft and or related support equipment, it is imperative that the maintenance be accomplished in accordance with the appropriate technical data and safety procedures. After opening the system where the defect has been identified, cut the tube and deburr the ID and OD as necessary. Tube ends should be reasonably square. For step-by-step -step instructions, refer to the handy ring lock installation guide and ring lock installation procedure that come with the kit. The first step is to mark the right position for the fitting on the tubing. Take the marking pen and the marking gauge for the tubing size you'll be using from the kit. The gauge is identified by the tube dash size located in the upper right-hand corner of the gauge. Now you simply place the marking gauge on the end of the tubing and make a mark through each of the two slots. Note the round hole in the end. This assures that the gauge is properly seated on the tube. Once you're sure it's seated, you can make your two marks and remove the gauge. The first slot is for positioning and the second for inspection after installation. Repeat the procedure to mark the other end of the tubing. With the tubing properly marked, you're ready to install the fitting you selected earlier. This is step two. Place the fitting over the end of the tube so that any part of the positioning mark is visible. The edge of the fitting ring can be anywhere along this mark. Even if the tube ends don't actually meet, 
you can still make the connection as long as the gap is no greater than three hundred thousandths of an inch. Ignore the inspection mark for now. We'll need this later. By the way, when you're working with shapes or separable end fittings, you'll notice a stop in the design which keeps the tube from interfering with the flow path. You can bottom out the tube in these fittings to be sure it's in properly, but don't skip the marking step. You'll need it for inspection. Step three in the installation is selecting the proper swaging tool for your fitting and connecting it to the hydraulic pump. Ring lock tools are the lightest, most compact swaging tools available and can be used by maintenance personnel at all levels. There is just one tool for each tube size and all are clearly marked. We're working today with half inch tube or dash eight size so we'll need the dash eight tool. The flexible hose attaches to both the tool and the pump with quick disconnect couplings. We'll use the hand pump that comes in the ring lock kit, but AeroQuip also offers air hydraulic intensifiers that work with shop air or a portable air bottle. Foot operated and switch operated models are available. With the proper tool now connected to the pump, you're ready for step four, putting the tool on the fitting. Because ring lock tools are so compact, you can access the repair area from almost any side, allowing you to swage at or near the structure. You've already positioned the fitting, so now you just align the tool to one leg of the fitting. The ring nests into the tool's movable jaw while the front opening of the tool bottoms into the body of the fitting, as shown in this illustration from the ring lock fitting selection guide. When using the dash 20 and dash 24 tools, there is one additional step. That is to install the swage bridge after the fitting is nested into the flange of the tool. Next, you pressurize the tool and the pressure will advance the fitting ring and complete the swaging process. Let's see how it works. With the swaging tool securely seated, operate the pump to start building up pressure. Pump until the pressure reaches 8,000 to 8,500 PSI. If you're using a foot operated intensifier, it will automatically shut off at this level. The hand pump will not, so keep an eye on the gauge. Tooling pressure has been preset or standardized at 8,500 PSI regardless of the fitting size or its pressure class. As the pressure builds, you can see the tool jaw advance, moving the fitting ring with it. The ring is preset at the factory. Remember, all fittings, regardless of tube material or wall thickness, swage at 8,000 to 8,500 PSI. When the swaging is complete, you should release the pressure. With the pressure released, the jaw of the tool will return to its original position. You can then safely remove the tool. Note how the ring has advanced along the position mark. Now you repeat the process for the other end of the fitting. This is what a completed ring lock fitting installation looks like. You can clearly see the positioning and inspection marks for both ends. The final step is inspection of the fitting to be sure that the ring has been fully advanced. You can do this in two ways, either with an inspection gauge or by simply visually inspecting the repair to make sure the ring has been fully advanced. To select the right inspection gauge, match the number stamped on the gauge to the fitting size. Now you just fit the gauge over the fitting ring and make sure it sits flat on the ring. Then make a quick visual inspection to see that the inspection mark is at least partially covered by the edge of the fitting. This will verify that the tube has been inserted to the proper depth. That's all there is to it. If you follow the six easy steps, you can be confident that you have a flight-worthy repair. Once again, we remind you that 
when performing any maintenance on aircraft and or related support equipment. It is imperative that the maintenance be accomplished in accordance with the appropriate technical data and safety procedures. Now, let's recap the steps. First, use the pen and marking gauge to make a positioning mark and an inspection mark on the tube. Install the ring lock fitting so that it covers any part of the positioning mark. Next, select the tool that corresponds to the diameter of the tubing being repaired and connect it to the flexible hose in the kit. Connect the other end of the hose to the pump. Step four is positioning the tool on the fitting with the ring nested on the tool jaw and the fitting bottomed into the tool. When the tool is positioned, operate the pump until the pressure reaches 8,000 to 8,500 PSI. Then release the pressure and remove the tool. Finally, inspect the completed fitting with the corresponding gauge and look to see that the inspection mark is partly covered by the fitting and you're all through. Wasn't that easy? Now you're ready to try it yourself. With your ring lock tube repair kit and the handy installation and selection guides, you can repair a tube in about the same time as it took to watch this videotape. The ring lock system makes your job easier and helps you get aircraft back in the air as quickly as possible. And because of their unique metal-to-metal -metal seal and the 8,000 PSI rating, you can count on ring lock fittings for superior performance long after installation. AeroQuip Corporation is a worldwide leading manufacturer of products for aerospace, automotive, and industrial markets. AeroQuip is a Trinova company.